What's up guys, Billy here, and today I'm going to be going through some quick fixes that you can try on your drone if it's acting up or just not working properly. Every single time that you approach DJI support with some sort of problem with your drone, they're going to tell you to go through basically all the steps that I'll tell you in this video depending on the problem that you're having. So next time if you're having a problem with your drone and you try all these things and you're pretty confident that it's broken and needs repair, you can go to DJI support and tell them that you've tried all of the above. Quick disclaimer, I am not making this video with the intention of being clickbait or providing misleading information. I don't have some special trick that's going to make your broken drone work, but I do want to just offer this video as more of a troubleshooting video so you can walk through the steps and determine whether your drone is broken or it's just going to be a quick fix. Anyway, let's get on to the video. The first solution is simply powering the drone off and then turning it back on, so basically a restart. This may seem like a no-brainer, but is a good start to fix small problems. An example where turning the drone on and off actually came in handy or actually helped me out is a time when I was trying to fly my Spark with my remote. Uh, basically, I tried to connect my phone to the remote via a wire, as you guys have seen that little trick where you can plug in by the micro USB port in the back. So I tried that at first, it said aircraft disconnected. I tried using a Wi-Fi connection, it said aircraft disconnected. So I took a step back, turned off my phone, turned off my controller, and I turned off my Spark, and I just started all over again, and it started working. I work in the IT department at my college and a lot of people often come in with a problem on their computer and all I do is restart the computer and it magically ends up working. So again, try powering the drone off and then turning it back on, but if your problem still persists then we're going to have to escalate the issue and try some of these other steps that I'm going to list in this video. Next is an IMU calibration, which is something that should be done if your drone just isn't flying correctly. For example, if the drone veers to the side when you push the directional stick straight forward, or if it won't stay still when hovering, an IMU calibration should fix this right up. In short, the IMU compiles information to ensure that the drone is balanced during flight. I have made detailed videos on how to calibrate the IMU on the Spark, Mavic, and Phantom 4 series of drones. Check those links out down in the description if you'd like a more in-depth look at how and why you should calibrate the IMU. Moving on, we have the compass calibration. This can be done in coordination with the IMU calibration and should be done much more frequently as you move from place to place to fly your drone. Some people have different rules that they follow. For instance, some will say that every single time you transport your drone in a car, you'll need to calibrate the compass, while others say if you are further than 35 miles from your last calibration spot, then you'll need to calibrate the compass. I find myself doing a calibration about once a week when I'm staying near my house, but when I'm traveling further away from my typical spots, I'll pretty much much do it every single time. One side note, you may be experiencing a compass error on your drone and the reason for that is because of interfering metals or signals nearby. For example, I tried to take off on top of my car when I first bought my first drone and it wouldn't let me. You may also get this error frequently when flying inside of your house. Try moving the drone to a remote location like in the middle of your yard and that's where you're going to have the best luck. Now getting into some of the tricks for fixing small camera problems. First thing that you can do is try to reset the camera settings to their default state. You can do this by going to the camera settings, clicking on the three dots in the top right corner, and then scrolling all the way to the bottom. This will change any presets that you've configured, so be sure to remember what you like having turned off or what you like having turned on, so you can set yourself up again once the reset is complete. Now let's talk about the gimbal. Most problems associated with this fragile piece of equipment can be fixed by doing a gimbal calibration. Set your drone on a flat surface to begin and then jump into the DJI GO application. Click the three dots in the top right corner, go to the camera slash gimbal settings, and then hit gimbal calibration. This process will take about a minute, so let the drone sit there and don't power it off. If your gimbal is still not perfectly aligned with the horizon like in this clip, you can adjust the gimbal roll by clicking adjust gimbal roll under the camera slash gimbal settings. This will let you tilt the gimbal from side to side until the shot is perfectly lined up. Now let's talk about the connection problems between the remote and drone itself. Oftentimes, it is likely that the firmware is inconsistent between both devices and needs to be upgraded. Usually, you will be prompted to update your software upon startup, but to double check if you are on the latest firmware, I have a little trick for you. With the drone powered on, hold the three lines in the top right corner of the DJI GO home menu for five seconds. After your release, it will give you information about your drone's firmware and will also allow you to upgrade or downgrade. You can do the same thing with the remote by powering off the drone but leaving the remote powered on. Hold the lines in the top right corner for the 5 seconds and the secret menu will pop up. Now if you are still having trouble, there is one more thing that you can try and this will likely solve most of the minor problems or bugs that you encounter. This does require the DJI Assistant 2 application for your computer and can be found on DJI's website. I'll leave a link for you guys down in the description to check it out. 
Once you've installed the software, open up the application and plug in your drone via a micro USB cable. Wait a second or two and it will finally appear in the menu. Once you've selected your connected drone, look for the firmware refresh button, tap that and let your drone do its thing. One thing I must say before you do this, make sure you have a full battery on your drone and your computer if you're using a laptop. Anyway, that wraps up this troubleshooting video. The reason that this topic even came to my mind is because of the issues I was having with my Phantom 4 Pro and the vibrating gimbal. I was totally convinced it was hardware. I thought the actual gimbal on the drone itself was broken. I tried a firmware refresh and everything worked perfectly after that. So be sure to try some of these things on your drone before you go sending it away to DJI as that is a lengthy process to ship it, uh, you know, have them fix it or get a new drone and then get it sent back to you. Uh, so anyway, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.